Okay, so I've got the pieces marked. I'm getting ready to form my base. Um, I did have a towel here because I wanted to catch the drips and not get soaking wet. So I'm gonna remove the towel because it's much easier to do that. These pieces are gonna be bent because of the container that you've put them in. So you can see they're kind of arching a little bit, but you put them nice and flat. So what you can do is take them, put your thumbs to the center mark and just sort of work your way down to flatten them out. So they lay fairly flat. They won't give you so much of a, a problem if you do that. And I'm gonna go ahead and start my, my basket um, for a candle basket. And if you get any pieces, I'm gonna use my little marks here, that are really bowed one way or the other, what you wanna do is put them either at the bottom of your basket or the top of the base so that they bow away from the basket itself. This one kind of bows down a hair, so I'm gonna put it here at the bottom. And I actually gotta put this on one here because I wanna be three and a quarter inches. So there's my, so three and a quarter, it's about right there. So I can kind of space them apart a little bit and see what I've got, okay? So there they're lined up. You can see I had the center marks lined up and um, we're getting ready to go here. So what you do is you take your water or weight, piece of wood or something heavy to hold down one side so it doesn't lift up. And again, the center marks are, are lined up. You take your next piece, make sure you have it nice and flat. I start down here um, at the ends rather than trying to do it here where it's tight. I come up here and it, some patterns, it doesn't matter whether it's um, starting over or under the first one right here, um, but this one doesn't matter. So I'm just gonna start over. So over, under, over, under, over. I look for my pencil mark and it's gonna go on the middle spoke. I'm gonna slide it all the way up so it goes on the center marks of the horizontal ones. So it'd be like a plus sign if you could see through it. And since there's only five on this one, I'm gonna put two on the side opposite now. So under, over, under, over, under. And again, take that center one, take it apart, and you're gonna push it in. They're gonna be pretty close together. I'm using a few more than I normally would just to show the, the odd number that's the best way to, to do it. And again, this last piece, over, under, over, under. So it's the opposite of the other one. If you have any two that look exactly the same beside each other, you know you haven't done something quite right. So when you have the side done that you need, you take away your water. And you won't need to hold anything down on the other side. And so now you're working over here. Here's your middle one. And because this is over, I want to start under, way down here at the end, over, under, over, under. Okay. And find that center mark. It's going to go along the center spoke. And then the last one is going to go over, under, over, under. And you can see how it's easy to lift up those ends and then slide it. It's much, much easier to do it that way. Um, this is only going to measure, you can start to eyeball a little bit to see. Um, this is only supposed to be three and a fourth inches across and up down the other way. So that's a little bit too wide. So I'm going to, you never move the center ones. They always stay this, the same. So you move down above it and go up from below it to make it a little bit smaller. Let me check here. Oh, went too small in that way. Oh well, let me bring these in a little bit. So you just keep working them a little bit. I am not a perfectionist by any means. So if I'm not exactly right, I'm perfectly fine with that. But for the candle basket, you do wanna be, you do wanna err on the side of being a little bit bigger because you want to make sure you get your candle in there. And I'm going to bring these down here because I made it too small. And then you kind of eyeball the spaces in between so it's about the same distance. And you just keep checking, and I always check on both sides, sometimes in the middle also if it's a bigger basket, just to make sure that they're the same on all sides, and that's pretty good. So then what you do is you take a clothespin, and you take your corners and you close pin those corners shut. So when you go to twine, they aren't gonna move on you. And sometimes body parts do get in the way of the ones that are hanging here over the table. So I try to, if you have a room, you can pull them up so they're not, you know, being touched by body parts. And then, so here you've got your base, which is three and a quarters by three and a quarters. It's a square base for this one. 
Uh, some of them are rectangular and the dimensions will always be there for the on the patterns for the classes. And you're getting ready to twine now.